So I get an email from uh, a friend of mine that I haven't spoken to in uh, months. And uh, he says to me that he was um, fussing around on YouTube and he's, he's not a vapor or anything like that. But he's fussing around on YouTube and uh, somehow he comes across one of my videos from the cold open. So um, he said, um, uh, I got to talk to you, call me up. So I called him up and um, basically the conversation was um, how can you how can you do that? How can you put yourself on YouTube? Um, those things stay up years after you're dead. <laughs> I said, what the hell do you mean? <laughs> so what? And he said, do you want, do you want, do you want videos of yourself on YouTube after you're dead? I, I said, yeah, I, that's, a, <laughs> that's kind of an immortality, isn't it? I, I don't know. I'm, I never thought about it before, but that's the kind of guy he is. So, um, hey, cold open. We'll be right back in a minute. And I'm back. And today I had um, every intention of doing the review for that, that, um, that uh, Vision V Pros uh, new, non, new, new, the weird sound in one, and uh, and that 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 didn't happen. Um, well, it, it's going to happen tomorrow. But um, I finished my written review on the um, Sub Tank Mini and published it today. So um, I said, well, maybe later this week I'll just do a video on the on the Mini uh, and the Nano and. Uh, and I decided that um, now let's just go ahead and do it today. So, I mean, there's, it's not going to be some 20 minute video because there's um, a not a lot different with the mini uh, than there is on the regular one. Uh, there's some editorial remarks that I could make, um, such as uh, why did, you know, why did Kanger put out the big one first uh, and follow that up with one that, uh, it, number one is more expensive, and number two will sell a lot more than the original one. Now, let me give you a, a for instance. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and and uh, post up, post up, and and, and uh, post. I'm gonna bring this up so uh, you can see it. You can see I'm using a new, um, using a new lighting system and a new lens today, uh, and so we're trying something with a very very shallow depth of field. Um, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's my favorite lens in the whole, lens in the whole wide world, and um, and I, I finally got it fixed. So, um, so anyway, here is the full size uh, sub tank. Now, this, as as you know, is a very large tank. It's um, it's wider than most of the uh, devices that we have on the that 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 we buy, that mainstream vapors buy. It's, um, it would certainly look good on a 26650, but on, you know, things like Evic Supreme and, and um, uh, other ones, there's this, there's this look there, you know? So, or this, um, it's a little bit wider than, than we like. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hope I don't have to pick that up. So, I, maybe I'll get it later. So anyway. Uh, no, I've got to get it now. Okay, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> my, my little helper down here. Um, so this is the this is the um, this is the regular size one here. Okay, and here is the the mini, which is uh, this is not the nano. This is the this is the mini, and it's quite a bit difference in size. Although this will still hold um, 4.5 milliliters of juice um, if you're using the OCC coil, not if you're using the RBA component. And this does have the RBA component. The, the Nano does not, but the Mini does. And now I haven't checked this out yet, um, but the Nano, I'm sure it's the same though. The coils, the only difference in the coils, and I've used them in both, the only difference in the coils is that there's a there's a white O-ring, a 
at the bottom of these coils in the in the mini and the nano uh, and there's a red one in the um, full size sub tank so I you know I, they work I, I've, I've, I've I've used them in, in each other, and they don't. There doesn't seem to be a problem. So that's all well and good. Um, and the, 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 I can't tell a difference. So if there is a difference, you know, this is supposed to be um, the uh, sub tank mini and the sub tank nano are supposed to have slightly updated coils. I don't know uh, the, spe the specifics on that yet. I'm sure some uh, uh, other reviewer will. And. Um, uh, but there, there are a couple of things I'm going to show you this. I'm going to also pull this up on um, on post. But the the um, airflow control is very different on here than it is uh, on the on the regular size one. It is it clicks like this, and there's also there's also like a slot. You know, like movie. Um, 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 the day the earth stood still, you know, that the robot that his eyes. That's the kind of like that's the kind of thing that this has here, you know. Rather than the than the uh, three holes on this one. Now this one does this one clicks into place too, but only when you get to a certain like a full quarter turn, you know? So in any case, um, the mini is 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 a, just a smaller version of the uh, of the larger one, and um, and and I know. Well, for, before I show you what's inside it, let's just let's just um, let's just show you. Let's just pick the a Provari out of here, and uh, that might have been a bad choice because there's a beauty ring on top of here, but. Um, this this fits nice and flush. Let me give you something on the, that's flatter. Go back in here. Go back in here. Let's take the Evic again. And just screw it on like so. It's twenty two millimeters. millimeters. Twenty two millimeters. Fits. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's a, on, on the Evic. It's a little bit thin. But it looks good. It looks much better than the than the big one, than the big wide one. On the uh, Siglia, Siglia, Siglia. It's also just a little bit thinner, but it looks better. You know what I mean? It does look top heavy, and um, and that's what that's what uh, that's what was the biggest grief grief from everyone. Um, that I knew. I mean, they love the tank. They love the vapor. They love the flavor and all that jazz. But it was it was uh, big. It wasn't as big as the turbo, but it was big. Anyway, in the packaging, instead of the um, black, instead of the black cover here, you know, I got a red sleeve here, and you open this up, and inside you have you have your organic cotton. You have your blue um, ubiquitous screwdriver and some extra o-rings you have a another pyrex tank and you have it comes with the uh half ohm coil installed and you get a 1.2 and you also get a slightly different rba setup i'm going to show you the difference let me just take this out of here. You know, I am working on getting a two camera system going up here. It's just gonna, it would just take more time to edit. I'd have one here and one over here looking down and, and recording all this nonsense going on down here. And uh, I, I'm gonna do it, but I just gotta make the commitment that I've gotta uh, spend more time editing. You know what I mean? And it's spicing. So this is the R RBA component for uh, the regular size. And this is the RBA component for the Mini. Big, big difference in size. Now you um, unscrew the well wall to get at the decking. And you see that there's two Mini coils on here. Not exactly, I, don't know, I don't know if I'd call them micro coils. They're Mini anyway. And uh, nice, nice, nice area to get to the decking. All that, that's fine and fantastic. It's just, that's... I have no problem um, with this 
with this RBA component. It's really cool um, and easy to work with. The on the mini, it's about I guess it's about half the size, and of course, because of that, there was only a single coil. I didn't take off the well wall. There's only a single coil in here because that's all it's going to fit. Let me put on my uh, glasses here for a second. Very, very easy to get to. Let me, let me bring that back up here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this in in, um, in post. But uh, it is it's very easy to, to get to the coil and um, very easy to attach the coils, very easy to put your cotton through and, 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 and all that jazz. Uh, it's, an, it's, it's simple. And it's, I like single coils anyway. Um, they light up faster. And for me, I get a kind of a, I get a better taste and a little bit more uh, vapor. But, you know, that's just me. A lot of people have said otherwise. And, and, and hey, it's a free country. They can do that. So it's pretty much the same thing. You just unscrew it. Unscrew the, um, the coil. Unscrew the what? Jeez. Unscrew the coil and screw your little doodad in here and, um, you know, string your cotton and, uh, and you're ready to go. So believe it or not, this is a, this is this is going to be a little bit more expensive when it comes out the end of January. It will be out before uh, all the manufacturers in China take their spring festival, uh, month long vacation or two three weeks anyway. And so it is going to be hitting the stores probably by the end of the week or early next week. Uh, and from what I understand, this is not going to be fifty bucks and the full size sub tank. Uh, now is I think forty, forty-one, forty-two dollars. I mean, we may even see a couple dollars less than that when this finally gets on the shelves. And um, I guess the uh, you know the reason is the come on the reason is is because it looks better on your devices and and it's um, it's more manageable. It's not as not as unwieldy, you know. Um, but if you if you like the larger size, then you know go for it. But you know what? I also mentioned. I mentioned this the other day. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna show everybody. This is one. This is um. Oh, that's my Delta. Where is the sub tank? Okay. Here's the sub tank that I've been using um, for the last few, few days, uh, intermittent with the uh, with the mini. And I'm gonna hold this very steady here so I can bring it up. If you notice, I have a dark juice in here, and as you can see, you now. The metal skeleton inside of here, the support columns, they are dark. Now, this is not a stain. This is not, you know, this is stainless steel. So this is not stained with, with the e-liquid. This is actually e-liquid caught between the Pyrex glass and the steel uh, support columns, skeletons, whatever you want to call it. And it's um, it's it is very noticeable. As a matter of fact, it's much more noticeable. I just don't, I just don't know why. It's much more noticeable today than it was even yesterday, and um, uh, it may be because I had this thing. Uh, I wasn't using it all that much this weekend because I spent a lot more time with the mini. Um, but I don't know. I just I wanted to show you this because I just I don't know, um, I don't know why. Well, I know why, because it's going to seep through. I, I, but, you know, I don't know. What do you, have you, anybody else had any problem with this? I don't, I don't like it. Anyway, that's mine. That's the one I've been using. And so, there you go. Now, I will give you a short look at the, at the, at the Nano, even though this is not a, this isn't, this really isn't a, uh, a review of any, so it's just basically a show and tell with an opinion. <laughs> That's what it is. Show and tell with an opinion. If you don't like it, don't watch it because it's okay. Because there's plenty of people out there that will do proper reviews. This is the Nano. Now, the Nano, for a Nano, this is a big tank. This has your full-size coils. 
unbelievable when you think about it. And uh, it's, um, but, uh, but, but, but the, su the support skeleton that you see in the mini and the full size, these columns here, uh, where the juice got trapped behind, is not on here. I'm kind of looking forward to that. And this seems plenty big enough for somebody like me, you know? So uh, you get the, um, you get a half ohm and you get a one, I th I'm pretty sure it's a 1.2 and a half. <laughs> Check. I mean, just tossing this around. Yeah, it's 1.2 and a half ohm. So you're even, so you're, you're sub ohming in, in the nano as well. And uh, it comes with some extra uh, red O rings and it comes with a spare uh, glass Pyrex tank. And, uh, and that's it. Uh, there's no RBA, because that would be ridiculous. Um, uh, maybe. You know what? Maybe not. Who knows? I'm, you know, make a microcoil or something for it. You know, it could be. And uh, they have there's a couple of these cards now that you can now scan with your phone and um, make sure that, look at that focus. Boy, I'm using it. That's like 2.8. There's like, the, my focus field is like this much. Um, but you can scan this with your phone, and it, it will tell you whether you've got a, a real um, tank or a knockoff. And we all know how we feel about knockoffs. So, uh, and again, the uh, the mini, like I said, with the mini, it does come with all the doodads. That the sub, that the larger one comes with the um, the the nano does not. You don't need the screwdriver. You you don't need. Um, you know, the coils and stuff like that, because it's just not a part of the deal. So, and that's basically it. So, uh, what I thought I'd do, I'm going to take a break, and um, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to fill this, I'm going to fill the um, uh, the mini up, and uh, I'll come back, and I'll show you uh, what it's like to actually use one. All right? I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, and I'm back. Now I've got this um, hooked on to my uh, IPV Mini. Uh, I'm going to let it sit here for a couple minutes while I talk to you um, about a couple things, and and that is the um, the range of the coils in the Mini uh, are uh, 15 to 30 watts, 15 to 30 watts. So if you have a 20 watt um, device. You should be able to use the mini with without any problem at all. Um, I, if I have one around here uh, that maxes out, I wanted one that maxes out at, at 20 watts, and I think I do. Let's see if there's um, is there still a battery? Oh, there's still a battery in here. Okay, good. We will um, we will test this out in uh, in just a minute here. Um, And, uh, and we'll see how that goes. But I did want to, I want to fire that up on here. I've got this, um, I'm going to, I'm going to set this up. I'm going to try it at 15. That's not good. I'm going to try it at 15 first and uh, see what kind of a vape you get at that. And then we'll bring it up. We'll go all the way up to 30 and uh, we'll see. They say now. I don't know if that just leaked or if that was me from just filling it up. It's filling it up with some very, very, very thick juice. So we'll, we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the uh, airflow control up. It is um, it's 15.1 uh, uh, watts. Give it a little bit of a burn. Even though it says you can start using it 30 seconds to a minute after you um, put some uh, a few drops inside the coil itself, I would really rate, wait a little bit longer than that. This uh, at 15 watts, this is putting out uh, a nice flavor. I can really taste the vanilla wafers, um, but it also tastes new. You know what I mean? It tastes I can taste the metal, and uh, that will burn off. But not a bad amount of vapor at 15 watts. 
But we're going to take it up. Now, let's take it up to 20. <laughs> I wish this thing could just dial it in here. Okay, now we're at 20, okay? And we'll see where we go. Let's give it a couple second burn. I hope I can get that metal taste burn off of Vapor's nice. Flavor's still kind of kind of tastes metal. I don't like that. I'm just, I mean, it's, I'm, I know it's a brand new coil, so that's the problem. But still, it's also six milligrams, so that's why I can uh, get it up there. Let's get it. Come on, guys. Let's go. I had this preset for um, 10, 15, 20, and, and I accidentally set it to 10. Now we've got to go all the way back up again. We're going to try it at uh, 25, and then we're going to take it up to 30. I can start to hear the burn now before I couldn't hear it. It's like a lot of guys, people can hear the hiss in my last video. I know why, but I couldn't hear it. Because my ears are, I hear, I hear a high-pitched tuning fork all the time anyway. <coughs> yeah, that's getting better. <laughs> And now the vapor's finally starting to get warmer, too. So, let's... Come on now. Damn it, you. Okay, come on. <laughs> Jeez, Belize. Come on, come on, come on. Now we're going to take it up as far as the... Uh, oh. Is 30 watts, which is the maximum this thing is supposed to hit nice, okay? So we'll see. It's popping. Oh, much too much. Much too much for a person like me. Maybe at three, maybe at three milligrams. No, if you're anything like me, you're not going to want to do this at 30 watts. This is a this is a Max VG juice too from uh, from Vape Dudes. Just going to take a little bit of experimentation to find a sweet spot on this thing, um, and I'm going to switch out now. I'm going to switch to the um, MVP twenty watt. And see what we can get going on there. Also, if you know my, uh, if I start sounding like I have a cold, it's because down here there are some really wicked bad allergies going on, going around now. Um, some allergy thing. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It's it's awful. Ooh, that's not even gonna fire. Guys, come on. Come on. It's reading half ohm. It's it's reading it. That's surprising. Very surprising. Can't get at the fire off that. Let's try my trusty old um, um, 
a Spire sub ohm. I love these things. I got like four or five of them hanging around. And they're, they're, I just love them. They're just great. And that, and that fits perfect. And I hate, <laughs> whoa, I hate to say this, but this is perfect. It's, it's, it is absolutely perfect on this, basically is a mech mod um, from Aspire. It's just a, a, a self-contained battery. It uh, puts out 4.2 volts um, and it's steady, steadily, uh, it's not regulated. Uh, it's, it, it will go down, but this is fully charged, so. And that's the sweet spot. So if you want to use the mini, Man, buy yourself one of these um, um, uh, sub ohm batteries from Aspire. Thirty-five bucks, you're done. You know. Buy two, and uh, and have one charged all the time. Uh, and that's pretty much my verdict. Um, look, it's um, when you get right down to it. Um, uh, I think that the Mini is going to sell better. Um, it's got, it has the single coil RBA, which just, it's, it's to me, I mean, it's just as easy to replace the coil on this, on this deck than it is, it is, it may be a little bit harder, you know, but for most of you guys that uh, don't have um, uh, hot dog fingers, uh, you're not going to have a problem with it either way. Uh, it holds four and a half milliliters of juice, which is really good, it's a really good amount. Uh, it has the same sub ohm coils and, and, and 1.2 co ohm coils. And uh, it, it fits all of your devices unless you have a 26650, and then it's um, and then you use the bigger one. But um, uh, it, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. I don't like that. 50 bucks for a tank. You know what I mean? I mean that's that's a lot of money. Uh, but it is. It's a lot lot smaller and tamer than the than the old one. And like I said in the written review, if you want to check that out, spinfuel.com. It's it. It was a little bit weird for me that uh, that Kanger would release the big one first. It's sort of like going back to the um, uh, to the to the Arrow Tank days, uh, release, releasing the um, Arrow Tank Giant, and then releasing the Mega, and then releasing the the regular Arrow Tank, and then releasing the Arrow Tank Mini, and 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 doing it that way. And that's kind of like they they introduced the the what I call in the review, and which is. Which is, I think, is uh, uh, pretty apropos. Is that the is that the big one, the regular one, the sub tank, should be called the sub tank mega. This is your sub tank, this mini. Call this the mini. This is the mega, and this is the miney. <laughs> miney. This is the mini. This is the mini. This is the regular one. This is the regular one, and this is the uh, mega. That's that's how I would look at it, and. Uh, and uh, that's it for me. This is a good tank. And um, uh, next time when I uh, when I do this, when I do this uh, nunchuck battery business, I will use the Nano and show you how that works with the nunchuck <laughs> Vision Vapros. And uh, that's it for me. Me. This is John Manzione, Sans Jacob, because he's just not in the mood today. And uh, uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.